What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the newest version of SD Caffeine to load mod packs for games like Super Smash Bros. Wii U and Mario Kart 8. Now this is going to work no matter if you're on version 5.5.1, 5.5.2, and if you use the web exploit or if you use Hacks Cheat. I'm going to attempt to load multiple mod packs for Smash Bros, including Chandler's SSB Wii U mod, as well as Aaron Itmar's mod pack. All of the links will be in the description, of course, so please keep watching. As you can see here, we're over on Michelle's SD Caffeine GitHub repository, and they've added built-in mocha support so now when you load SD caffeine it's gonna load its own fork of mocha that allows SD caffeine to work with any game not just Super Smash Bros anymore it also has added live fat support so this means you can now use a USB that is formatted to fat 32 or a USB hard drive to store your mod packs on now a lot of mod packs are around something like two gigabytes, so maybe you don't have enough space on your SD card. You can go ahead and use an external hard drive or a flash drive now as well. So it's possible that you could even load mods onto the SD card as well as a USB if you don't have room on both of those. So I'm gonna go over to the GBA temp thread over here and we'll go over it real quick. You can see SD Caffeine is a homebrew application for the Nintendo Wii U that can be loaded with the homebrew launcher. Now it basically replaces files on the fly. So if you're playing a game that the Wii needs to access a certain file, such as a texture for a character, SD Caffeine is gonna check to see if there's a modified version present on an SD card or a USB device and then it'll redirect the game to launch that texture pack instead. And that is essentially how mods are changed in the game on the fly and loaded directly from an SD card or a USB. So as you can see here, it says in the past, SD Caffeine only supported game which already had access to the SD card, for example, Super Smash Bros. But since this new version of 1.4, all the games are supported. So that is pretty awesome. Here's a little more talk about the custom built-in version of Mocha, which allows this to support a FAT32 device. So to install SD Caffeine, you see you can put it on your SD card root in the Wii U folder and then in the apps folder and then in an SD Caffeine folder. What we're gonna do is simply launch the app store on our Wii U and just download it ourselves. That'll be a little bit easier than doing it that way. And also you can see this is basically the file set up for loading mods. Here is the root of your USB or your SD card and then you're gonna have a folder called SD Caffeine and then you're gonna have the title ID of the game and then you're gonna have the name of the mod pack. This can pretty much be anything and then we're gonna have a content folder which we're gonna place stuff inside. Now this might seem like a lot of you know jargon at the moment and you might not quite know what you're looking at, but once I show you guys how to move the files over to your SD card, it'll be super easy and you'll be mind blown how easy it was to do. Here is just another quick note on handling multiple mod packs. So you can see SD Caffeine supports multiple different mods for a single game on the same SD card slash USB. Each mod has its own subfolder. For example, you could have your two mod packs on your SD card, mod pack one and mod pack two. And then over on your USB, you could have mod pack three and mod pack four. So pretty simple. And again, I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up. I'll put a link to Aaron Itmar's mod packs. Make sure you get the one for your proper version of the game. I'm gonna be downloading the USA version and we're gonna be installing that. It's pretty awesome. He's got it set up all ready to go and all we have to do is move it into a couple of different folders for this new version of SD Caffeine. There is also a bunch of mods over on GameBanana.com. I'm going to go ahead and download Chandler's Super Smash Bros. Wii U mod pack. Again, I'll put a link to this page in the description. You can see here's the North American version here, and here is the PAL version here. I'm going ahead and downloading this one right here with the Etika announcer calls for Bayonetta and Mewtwo. That is the one that I am downloading. Once you guys have your mod packs, get your SD cards from your Wii U's or your USB drives that you want to use and plug those into your computers, I'll meet you down in our downloads. 
Okay, we're here in the downloads. I've got both of my mod packs as well as an empty USB open here on the left. Again, you can use your SD card to do this. Just move the same files to the root and do everything the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off on the USB here and create a new folder and call it S-D-C-A-F-I-I-N-E and then that'll be our SD caffeine folder. And now we're gonna go over to our downloads and we're gonna go ahead and extract both of these. So I'm gonna extract them with 7-zip to their own individual files as to not get them confused with each other. Now that I have both of my mod packs in their own folders, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the zip and the RAR. And now all we have to do is open up Aaron Itmar's mod pack here. This folder right here identifies Super Smash Bros. So this is the title ID for the USA version. If you happen to have the PAL version, it'll be a slightly different number. And this is basically how SD Caffeine is gonna differentiate between your different games. So over here in our SD Caffeine folder, we're gonna go ahead and just drag this right into it. Now, if I open this up and then open this up again, I need to create a couple of new folders. So I'm gonna make a new folder in here and I'm gonna call it mod pack one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create another new folder and I'm gonna call it content, all lowercase. So now I need to take the contents of the mod pack, which are this movie file as well as this patch folder, and I need to put them inside the content folder. And now I need to take the content folder and put it inside the mod pack. So we'll go back and I'll show you real quick. So here's the root of your SD or your USB. You've got your SD caffeine folder. You've got your game identifier. So the title ID for Super Smash Bros. And then inside of here we have mod pack one. And then we have a content folder. And then this is where your mod pack actually goes. So we'll go back to here and we need to create another new folder and we'll call it mod pack two. And then we'll create one more folder and we'll call it content. And now I'm going to go ahead and go back to my downloads, exit out of Aaron Itmar's mod pack and open up Chandler's mod pack. Now you can see it's got the same little title ID here. So we're going to go ahead and ignore that one and just grab the contents. So I'm grabbing the contents of the mod pack and I'm dragging it into content. And now I can take content and drag it into mod pack too. So now inside mod pack two, I have content and then another mod pack. And that is essentially how you would get multiple mod packs for a single game onto your SD or your USB. Now this would work for any game. If you opened up SD Caffeine, you'd have another folder for your next game with its title ID. And then mod pack file inside of it, as well as a content folder, and then your mod pack files. Seems kind of complicated, but it's really simple. Now you can go ahead and safely eject your SD or your USB, reinsert them into your Wii U, and I'll meet you guys down on the home menu. Just a quick note, if you happen to see this screen, then don't hit format as it will erase the mod packs you just put on your USB storage device. Go ahead and press cancel. I'm not sure if you can format the USB to the Wii U's proprietary file system and then put it into the computer and put the mod packs on or not. I haven't tested that. If someone wants to go ahead and test that, please go down to the comments and let me know if it worked out for you. That would be awesome. Down here on the Wii U, I've got my USB inserted. Now what you're gonna need to do is either launch the web exploit to get into Homebrew or use Hackschi to launch Homebrew and then go into the App Store or use HacksG to launch straight into the App Store. So essentially I'm saying load the App Store and I'll meet you guys in there. I'm gonna hold the Y button while booting up HacksG and this is gonna allow me to go straight into the App Store. Once you've entered the Homebrew App Store, go ahead and click Tools. Now you're gonna have to scroll all the way to the bottom and this is gonna take you to SD Caffeine. So here is 1.4 SD Caffeine. Go ahead and hit get. Now that SD Caffeine is installed, go ahead and hit the home button and go back to the homebrew launcher. Once you've made it back to the homebrew launcher, go ahead and look for your new program, SD Caffeine. And I'm gonna go ahead and just hit load.
After loading SD Caffeine, you'll be taken back to the home menu and it has simultaneously loaded a fork of Mocha Custom Firmware. Now SD Caffeine as well as Mocha Custom Firmware are both one time use only. So after you reset your system and turn it back on, you're going to have to load up Homebrew Launcher and launch SD Caffeine again if you want to use the mods. So I'm freed now to go ahead and open up Super Smash Bros and hopefully we'll get some kind of warning and be able to choose which mod pack we have on our USB device. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Smash Bros and we'll see what happens. After the Super Smash Bros title screen showed for a second, it went ahead and launched SD Caffeine. So now you can see on my USB I have my Mod Pack 1 and my Mod Pack 2. I'm going to go ahead and try to load up Mod Pack 1 which is Aaron Itmars. So I'm just going to hit A on it. You can use the D-pad to select up or down. Now it might take a little bit of time to load but the new SD Caffeine is supposed to be loading even faster than the old ones. So we'll see if we get any improved performance. I don't do much game modding so I'm not really sure how fast it's actually supposed to load but it seems to be taking at least a decent amount of time. So how cool is this crazy little intro that is playing right now? It took a little bit to load, but this is absolutely wild. Aaron Itmar has got some mad skill, I'm going to be honest with you right now. If you guys haven't checked out his YouTube channel, I'll put a link to it in the description. So I'm here checking out Aaron Itmar's characters. As you can see, all of these characters have their own custom little art animation on it now. I think even the little selector thing is different. But all of this art looks so cool. It's so it's so unique and it's got a really cool style. I dig it a lot. Um, if you see, I'll go ahead and like pick Link here. And if I go ahead and change his costume, you can see there's Breath of the Wild Link. How cool is that? As well as some variants of Breath of the Wild Link. As well as Dark Link. And then Fierce Deity Link. And there's Linkle. How freaking wild is that? Let's check out a couple others. I'm going to check out Sonic here. just want to see if there's like a... Oh, there's Shadow. How cool is that? Oh my goodness. Haha, <laughs> this is so sick. There's Tails, Knuckles, Super Sonic. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. It's getting real right now. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I don't really mod games, but this is crazy. Shadow Mewtwo. Armored Mewtwo from from the freaking oh my god when they're creating him in Mewtwo Strikes Back. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. What? What? Get out of here. Impa? How did Impa sneak in there? That's crazy. This is the coolest thing ever. Deadpool just sneaks in there. Young Link sneaking in there. Oh, I saw Young... Oh, <laughs> Medley? No way. Dude, dude. Okay guys, just a quick look at me playing as Geno from Super Mario RPG against Dark v Darth Vader, Isabelle, and I guess just simply Daisy. I must have left her on random. So now that I've had my fun with that, if you want to load up another mod pack for the same game, you're going to have to close out of it. So I'm going to close out of Super Smash Bros, and then I'm going to relaunch it one more time. So now I'm going to go ahead, launch it again. And it should bring SD Caffeine up for a second time without having to do anything except for restart the game. So there we go, we got SD Caffeine back up again. I'm just going to go ahead and select mod pack number 2. And we're going to be looking at a different mod pack this time. So here we are with uh, Chandler's Super Smash Bros intro. As you can see, it's pretty dope. Oh my god, it's even got like subtitles and stuff? This is legitter than heck. So you can see here I've got Metal Sonic and Over Zero Suit Samus is I think someone from Overwatch maybe. And then Charizard, uh, Mega Charizard. And then Ash Greninja on the left there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start to fight. Here we go, here's everybody versus everybody. Metal Sonic, it looks pretty awesome, I gotta be serious. Charizard is absolutely kicking her butts right now. And I suppose you guys probably get the idea by now. 
So as you can see, it's fairly simple to use this new version of SD Caffeine, and I'm highly recommending it. That was awesome. I can't believe how many characters Aaron Itmar managed to sneak into Super Smash Bros. God, there must have been hundreds in there. That was absolutely insane. I'm going to have to get together with a few friends and play a little bit of Super Smash Bros. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please go down to the comments and let me know what mod packs or what mods you guys are using or would like to maybe see me use in another video. Please subscribe on your way out and slam that thumbs up if you haven't already. Much love. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.